Are we live, baby? Are we live? Can't tell. Hold on. Let me see. Where's my shit here? Let me click these fucking websites. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm live. What's cracking like it, my fellow simp niggas out there? How y'all doing today? Thank you for joining me on this rando Dark Souls 3 stream. You know what I'm saying? We over here at Firelink Shrine, you know, trying to hold it down. You know what I'm saying, man? I got my hoes here. Fucking, uh, God, I forget her name already. Anyway, she a hoe. You know, she fucking levels me up. You know, she when, when you know, when, when a nigga's in need, she's right there for me, baby. And right here, we got the Shrine Maiden, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to hold it down, too. You know, she's a maiden, okay? Pick up the dictionary. You might learn something new. And we got our trusty blacksmith here. Always smithing the best, the finest. You know, the finest in hip-hop. Hip-hop and R&B, baby. No, but for real, though, you know, I hope, I hope everyone is having a good day, a good week, a good month, you know? Because these the these are some motherfucking trying times, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna test your resolve if you're a man or if you're a woman, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna push you to the upper limits of what's going on here in the world today. And I just wanna let you know that, you know, you niggas are not alone. We're all in this bullshit together. And you know, when the shit hits the fan, all you gotta do is just protect yours, you know what I'm saying? Protect your family, protect your friends. Protect your loved ones, all of that shit, because that's all that's gonna matter when this shit hits the fan, you know what I'm saying? It ain't your fucking friends, it ain't your fake ass vaporware friends online, whatever, it's the people who's in front of you, you know what I'm saying? They're the ones who are there, flesh and blood, not digital zero ones and zeros on a fucking screen, a number on the screen, you know what I'm saying? They're there, the real people are there for you, and that's how it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Cause all those fake ass niggas who out there like, oh you, you know you, you're we're we're all we're all gonna be in this together. It's like no, you're not, man. Th those people ain't paying your bills. You know what I'm saying? They they may wish positive uh, things for you and they wish the best for you, which is the only thing that they can do. You know what I'm saying? Which is not like, it's not to say that I'm not refusing it or, you know that. I don't want it, it's good, because that's all you can really do out of respect, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to it, to the nitty gritty, man, it's all about the ones who are really there, physically. Nigga, ain't no fucking virtual hugs or fucking, you know, fucking thoughts, thoughts and prayers, man, ain't gonna help your ass. Well, it can mentally, but... You know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Come on, man. What the fuck? Man, we only like fucking three minutes into the stream and we getting philosophical, man. Let's get back to it. Okay, so I think right now I'm going to be headed into Deacons of the Deep. So, excuse me. Let's see what I should buy here. I was actually considering copying a magic, uh, magic sword or... Just so I can, you know, fucking enchant my weapon, you know what I'm saying? So. Ooh, that actually is a thousand? Okay, let's do it. Let's just buy it, you know? Fuck it. Purchase item. Reinforce right weapon with magic. Let's go, bit. Wait. I just realized that I need a, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, staff to use it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Well, first of all, let me see how much it costs. Because I'm going to buy this one, because I prefer it, the sorcerer staff. Ooh, perfect. Because it's low profile, so uh, so a tune spell. We're gonna do that, baby. You know what I'm saying? We just had to fucking. Mm. We just had to do that. 
So, just for the weight ratio... Okay, I guess it doesn't do anything for my weight, because it's free. We don't need the fire clutch ring right now. Do I have anything here that's worth it? Because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing melee. We're gonna be doing melee until we can attune more spells because fireball is like my main shit. So let's put that away. Put that away. It's funny too because I get the um, I get the black knight great sword. On top of that, I get the the black knight um, chess piece when I'm rolling a caster. It always happens every time, and when I'm using when I'm doing melee, um, I don't get it. You know, like I could farm, I can farm the motherfucker for so long, and I still wouldn't get shit. Look at this. Look at this beautiful ass armor right here. I farmed the fuck out of this. In uh, Dark Souls, uh, I think it was An um, An Orlando. Cell sword. I think it was in in um, An Orlando. I just kept farming those um, Black Knights for the shield. You know what I'm saying? What is this? There, there you go. Life ring. Perfect. We need the extra life, baby. If I had 20,000 souls, I would just um, buy the tower key and I would just use the Estus, the Estus ring, but yeah, no. Nah. I don't have any of that. Cleansing Chapel, let's go. This really is some fucking trying times, guys. I'll, that's all I can really say. Like, uh, you know, at the time of the stream, what is it? Today's date is the 17th of July 2020. A lot of these, you know, government benefits and all that other shit, you know, that shit's all gonna end at the end of the month, guys. You know, when, when fucking 19 hit the world, uh, United States, uh, a lot of these, um, you know, landlords and shit were, they were actually, you know, I just realized, I probably need more Estes flasks, fuck, because I'm going melee. Or you know what? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Um, I should pr I should have just attuned. Um, I should have just attuned, re-attuned my fireball spell, because you can just do that with any bonfire. Like I did not even need to do that. <sighs> it's all good, guys. But yeah, I mean, what I was, the bullshit that I was talking about was the, um, all of the, um, protection plans and shit, you know, that, that's set out for everyone. Uh, all of that shit is gonna fucking go away at the end of the month, unless if the government's gonna step in, the US government specifically is gonna step in and do shit, you know. But, uh, yeah, who knows, you know, all I can do is I can just pray that, you know, I still, uh, will have my job. And, you know, if you guys are wondering, uh, a lot of these companies who are, like, you know, throwing everyone a bone, saying, like, oh, we're not gonna fire our, uh, wait, what am I doing? I unlocked a shortcut. I'm tripping. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. This is right. This is right. Yeah, 
Yeah, that fucking suicide bomber, man. He fucking does like a uh, thousand plus damage. And my HP doesn't even reach that high. What? Fucking sizzle dick, man. He always jumps, but of course he's never gonna jump when I'm prepared. Alright, so we're coming up on actually one of the best looking zones in DS3 in my opinion. It's like on the level of Bloodborne in terms of um, beauty. So, we'll see it. Just want to avoid that fool right there. Look at that epic ass door. And these fucking creatures here. And this homegirl is straight crying up there. Wow. You know, I never actually, like, stopped and truly, truly, you know, smell the fucking uh, roses here. Wow. Look at that. Look at these buttresses. And look at how nature is just overgrown. It's slowly working its way and trying to reclaim, you know, this land. back to the earth you know but you know how it goes if you want something if you want something to stand up or stand through the test of time build the motherfucking shit in stone baby why do you think like um all of those ancient civilizations and those monuments still they still stand today because they were built on fucking stone Oh my god, did he really fucking do that? So basically what happened is He fucking threw He threw something at me I forget what it's called Um, I think it's called uh, Oh shit, is that Anna Orlando back there? I just noticed that He basically threw I think it's called a Lloyd's Talisman And it temporarily Disables my Um use of Estus. Did this nigga just heal? Okay, I'm about to light this fool up. Okay, why am I still targeting him? Motherfucker, man! This guy's about to blow himself up, and I'm locking onto him, jumping into his ass. The fuck is that shit, man? You know, I really hope, you know, I really hope that Mimazaki's next IP is going to be free of this fucking bullshit. Like these misinputs, you know, triggering ass bullshit like that. It's like, you know. You guys have been in business since, like, you know, the sixth generation, you know. Uh, FromSoft got its popularity from... What? Huh? Like like that. Like, I, 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 I was targeting him, and then for some reason, I mistargeted, or I stopped targeting him, and then I threw a fireball over his ass. Come on, From FromSoft. Thought we were over this. Boom, shakalaka. You know, but when shit connects, it's it's a uh, it's a thing of beauty. <clears throat> I 
Oh, I really thought I could actually crash through that. Wow. Huh? God, the... I don't know, maybe because I'm like slightly RGB colorblind or something, but like the color palette, just everything just blends in. I completely did not see that that one dude who was coming up here. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. So over exaggerated, man. I swear to god. Like, when you get fucking smacked in this game, it's like, Oh, oh, my chest. My bloody chest. My fucking character is just fucking freaking out. It's like, okay, bitch, you're dead already. You got an arrow in your chest. Chill. You should know what pain is. Like, stop acting like this is your first time. It's like Yui Tanimura fucking like set a new standard. Okay. So apparently I did not um, enable my Tears of Denial. You know, it's just amazing to me how, you know, you could be, <clears throat> okay, let me just put back my talisman here. It's just amazing to me how you can know so much about a game and put so much time into it um, and then just forget. Like, all of your, um, all of the things that, you know, you would, you should remember about a game or know about a game just gone maybe that's why they call it a D-Rust you know what I'm saying like you see how visually uh, available Tears of Denial is it's like it's it's a fucking it's literally a gold orb in the center of your character's body, character model, and uh, it makes a sound. Like, how the fuck did I, how did, how the fuck did I traverse through the entire map without noticing that? You know, it's, it's kind of like akin to, uh, this is to all the guys out there. Have you ever fucking, um, have you ever fucking forgot your wallet? You know what I'm saying? You forgot to put your wallet in your pants, in your back pocket. You go through your entire fucking daily routine. You get your coffee, you get your breakfast, all that other shit. You grab everything, ready to go, hop into your car, start the engine. You know, all that other bullshit. You're on your way, you're listening to music, it's a good time. And then you re and then you decide, oh, I'm about to get me a coffee through the drive through You order your shit, and then you realize when you're about to fucking pay. Oh my god, this fucking, you know, half-inch mass that's about... You know, maybe two inch wide, maybe three inches in, uh, I'm sorry, that two inches wide and you know, two inches in length and w width and height. You just fucking notice that it's not fucking kissing your ass cheek. And then now your entire day has just been like spun upside down. Now you gotta go back home, get your shit, because everything is in that wallet. That's kind of like how um, I, f I, felt, I felt about this. Like, how the fuck did I not notice that I did not have... You know, Tears of Denial enabled. It's like, how much of a bitch nigga can you be, for real? You know, memes aside, like, seriously? Like, how did you not notice that?
Right now would be a good time for Soul Arrow. Yep, he's backing up. Did he just get his Wheaties on this morning? Like, what the fuck? How is he swinging? Motherfucker had his complete breakfast this morning. Feeling extra zesty and shit. Okay, so... I guess when there's an elevation change, you lose your lock-on ability. As ridiculous as that is. Okay. Okay, I need a shield here. What in the world? Okay. I need to allot my Estus because... Oh shit, he dropped me the Flamberge? Okay. Yeah, I need to reallot my Estus because this is not enough. I do not have enough heals. I can't even heal right now, you know what I'm saying? So. How? How? I don't understand this game sometimes, man. Okay, I need I need the hundred percent block shield. You wanna talk about the ultimate D rust? This is it right here. How the fuck am I dying to basic bitch ass niggas right now, for real? Okay, enough of that shit. Like, I do not fucking I need I need one more spell. I need one more spell. I need the heal. I need fucking tears of denial and I need the fireball. Like I can't I can't be doing this shit. I need all three of that for this shit to work. So until that fucking happens, I need to a lot more standard Estus flasks. So, a lot Estus. There you go. That should be enough. You be careful. Okay, hold on. What the fuck am I doing here? Let me actually look this shit up real quick. Um, how much attunement? Four four spells strike souls three. It's probably some obscene fucking number. Twenty four, of course. Where am I at now? So basically five more fucking levels till I can do it. Okay, well since this is live, you know, I'm not gonna bore you niggas and fucking farm. So we're actually just gonna slug slog through this shit. You know, the old-fashioned way. Okay, so I was right. I think last stream I said that I had 40 attunement for 6 uh, spell slots. And I actually, uh, that's actually correct. But you know what? You know what? I actually just remembered something. Um... We actually get a ring here 
that increases our attunement slots. So this actually may not be too bad. This may not be too bad, guys. We got this, we got this. Hold up. What the fuck am I doing? Come on, man. So, we'll be alright. We'll be alright. We'll still, we'll, we will still continue with our plan. Uh, stacking stamina and attunement. We'll still do that. But then, thank God, uh, we're, we're going to get that ring here. That will increase our, um, attunement. Fucking, really? Fucking tree branch blocking my way and shit? You know, as much as I love the fucking Xbox, it, like, th they have the worst version of Dark Souls. Like... You know the PS4 version is locked at 32, but you know there there are no there there's not much screen tearing or uh, audio skipping as the Xbox One version, and it just shows to me a FromSoft's prejudice against fucking um, the Microsoft system. <laughs> and uh, if you niggas deny that. Then get your head out of fucking La La Land because it's fucking true. For some reason, the East does not like um, my, uh, Microsoft that much. Which is kind of odd because, you know, everyone fucking uses Windows. So it's like, you know, you're, you're fucking hating on Microsoft's console. But yet, you know, you're fucking jagging off the fucking Pornhub on a goddamn window, a Win 10 system. So it's like, okay, man, get your, you, you can't have, you, 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 you can't have both kids. You know, choose one or the other, or don't choose at all and just fucking, you know, just respect the fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? That is so annoying how I lose my lock on. Okay, I was about to say like... I was about to say like, if he didn't die... You know, one thing that's one thing that's really nice about DS3 though is um is uh that you can uh, sidestep sidestep um what you call it okay. Can I backstab, please? D dude with the super poise. Oh, this next room is a shit show right here. Check this out. Okay. There's like five of these fuckers. See, that's three. There's two more in there.
I love how he activates when his homie comes down. Okay, there's a dude up here. That's strategically placed, I think. Oh. Guess he's not down here. Interesting. Nice, I just took unnecessary damage. Okay, so we got a pretty tough dude. What? Where was he? Okay, we got this dude right here coming up. He's pretty tough. Okay. His poise is pretty high, but as you can see, he could get he could get permanently stun locked. If uh, you know, if you have a full stamina bar. Fucking weapon collision, man. I forgot he could do that. I was not expecting that backstab, but, you know, Dark Souls 3 fucking hitboxes for you, and a Titanite Shard, okay. Alright, okay, okay. I'll accept that. We got the Suicide Bombers coming up here. Yeah, I mean, you see how much damage he did? I only have 817 uh, HP total, so. I'm actually trying to... Um, what I'm actually thinking right now is considering my risk management. I could go there and risk it all for that ember, but I think the play here, since I'm really under-leveled, is to just get the shortcut. And here we are. We are here in fucking Cathedral of the Deep, and you can see that giant right there. And I mean, just look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. We'll, uh, we'll take care of that giant later. He's pretty scary, but, you know, he's not too bad. If you know what you're doing. Let's just fucking unlock the shortcut and just get out of here. What? Backstab, yes. Yeah, let's just unlock the shortcut so that if in case we die over some stupid ass shit, you know, we can just easily come back in here. Oh, I wonder if I can actually get the ring now. I don't think so. I'm not sure. We'll see. Ugh. Farron Keep is beyond that tree line there. Fuck that place. I am not looking forward to that. And would you look at that shit? We are back here. Okay, so it looks like I can level up one more time. Um... 
Hmm. You know, since I'm actually going to get the ring that will increase my attunement slots, I think I might actually bust the uh, bust out the faith, level up my faith, so I can use this. I think I explained it last time where if you use there it is right there see in the bottom there it says gentle prayer recovers hp for a period of time albeit extremely slowly but who gives a fuck nigga if you're just waiting around you know if you're just waiting around for the the hot heal over time to hook you up to top you off you know what i'm saying to clean you up top you off after you've busted you know what i'm saying um who cares just wait you know what i'm saying shit man it's just like uh amateur photographers who be talking about oh the focal length the focal length is like nigga take a step back okay all right you're you're talking about oh that's a 2470 uh, millimeter take a step back there you go you don't have to spend fucking 2800 dollars on an l series lens i mean don't get me wrong they're nice you know i own them but you know if you want to be practical and realistic about this shit just take a step back okay my advice to you if you just so happen to be, a, you know, an aspiring photographer, you know what I'm saying? Just do that. And, you know, f fuck the body. It's all about the lens, son. You know, I've been shooting since I was in junior high, man. And um, I have imported vintage Russian lenses that are on the level and some cases better than, you know, Carl Zeiss lenses or L-series lenses and uh, niggas who say they can tell the difference by a blind pe blind Pepsi uh, taste chest challenge taste ch taste test challenge I cannot fucking English today guys I'm sorry if niggas say they can tell the difference between a cheap ass lens versus a L-series versus a Russian um, vintage lens via a blind taste test challenge they're full of shit it's just like those dudes who are like, oh, I can tell between digital and vinyl. Well, there, there, there might be some slight differences, you know. I did have some friends who um, studied audio design, and you know, you know, we we smoked and we drank, and you know, they 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 tried to explain to me, you know, the abstract of sound design and all that other shit. And you know, I I was I, I was picking up what they were putting down, but you know, I, I can't really speak on that shit as a professional. So, yeah, audio files. There is some. There is some legitimacy to that. But like the whole digital front, like oh, I can tell between uh, you know, what lens you're using or if that's film or digital. It's like no, you can't, nigga. No, you can't. I'm sorry. I mean, tools nowadays are becoming far more sophisticated, way more sophisticated than they were before. So. Oof, that was close. Poke. 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 Okay, so somehow I got iframes. Interesting. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it any day of the week. Ooh, deep gem. Okay, so I can actually um, enchant, you know, my sword for dark element, like my deep battle axe. Hmm, tempting, but you know. Oh shit! I completely forgot about that. I forgot that this nigga fucking pops down after you, after you go down the stairs. Sneaky fuck. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so, like I said earlier, we're, we are going to fight the, um, giant. He's down here. And it's looking like I can't jump down. Wait a minute, what the fuck's going on here, guys? Hold up. Oh, it's be- okay, okay, I got it, I got it. See, now I'm considering if I should just go back and reattune my spells. So I can bust out. Mm. 
we can just do this. It's all good. We'll just enchant our um, our sword for fire. So here's how we're gonna fight him. We're gonna drop down here, right? Oh god. The fucking giant, uh, he reminds me of those creatures in Jason and the Argonauts, a really fucking awesome classic movie about Greek mythology. These guys always reminded me of that. These mythological creatures in Greece, they're, they're essentially sentinels. They, uh, they just patrol the island of Crete. And they're like made of uh, copper, it looks like. It's a trip. You guys need to watch that movie. Jason and the Argonauts. It's fucking awesome. It's old school, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the honeys are extra. The honeys are extra saucy in the movie. You know? You know what I'm saying? They're a lot more clean cut than, you know, modern. Ooh. Modern day hoes. That's okay. And, um. But yeah, check it out. I definitely recommend it. And if it's uh, if it seems like it's too vintage for you or too old for you, you know, just um, just fucking suck it up. Ooh, large titanite, and I got shit too. Dung, dung pie. Come on, baby, let's go. I'd say just suck it up. You know, just classic classic films. You know, they they are definitely a product of their time, but uh, they're they're very charming. Sixteen thousand souls. Let's go. So, I guess what we're gonna do here is also just unlock Saint Bident. I never fucking use that shit. You know, I'll just equip it for y'all, just so you can see how it looks like. It's a fucking pole arm. You know, I was never really into those builds, so. Homeward Bone. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay, so there should be another shortcut here. Coming up. Man, look at this. I would love to go to a cathedral like this. Straight up. Getting me hyped up for the fucking Holy Spirit and shit. Look at that chandelier. Man, that's like the size of a fucking San Francisco apartment. I was about to say, if he was if he was gonna poise out of my hits, I would have been like, mmm. No. Oh, there's another giant there. We will actually deal with him a little bit later. I don't want to deal with those fucking spicy ass memes right now. Yeah, let's just unlock the second shortcut here. Ooh, I wonder if we can actually go up and cop my ring right now. Can I? Yes, we can, boys. Let's do it. Now I'm feeling confident in life, but before we do that, we have to unlock this one first. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go get my ring, and then reassess, and then we will complete the rest of uh, Deacons of the Deep, Cathedral of the Deep. Because it's pretty sneaky, actually, how they place this. I really like how she looked there. Because it's pretty sneaky how they place this because, you know, you step out here, right? And you're like, oh, fuck, what's this ladder? <laughs> right? And then we see this simp ass nigga right here. Okay. This, this lone 
archbishop or whatever he is, acolyte. And he drops the deep ring. Peep that shit. Okay, so we can equip that. Look at that. It allows for allows attunement of additional spells. And what do you know? We have four um, attunement slots now. See, and 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 the thing about this is, he stands here. You kill him, you get the ring. You're hype. And then you go back down the ladder. But then there's actually a platform here that you can land, and it will take you up to the top level of the of the cathedral. And um, yeah, niggas normally miss that shit. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go back to Firelink Shrine and reevaluate. You know I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bust out the um, the uh, the heal spell. I have to, baby. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm 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 feeling confident again, guys. So we're okay here. We're okay. Okay. Uh, a tune spell and ooh, magic weapon. Mm, no. Let's not do that. No, actually. Yeah, it should be fireball. Um, heal. There you go. That's the loadout, baby. And um. Okay, let's level up. Ooh. Hold on. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. 18. Okay, so 18 faith. Perfect. Let me actually... That last one, that last soul, baby. Okay, bust this nut. Mm. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that I have the technical chops to use this thing, let me show you guys how awesome this is. So I'm actually gonna jump off a cliff here and take some. Here's the Bloodborne guy. I love it. Dark Souls freaking um, dialogue is so good. The voice acting. Okay, so notice I took damage, right? So now I'm gonna activate Mending Prayer. Peep that. Look at that. H O T bebe. Healing. It's healing, man. Healing a nigga. Okay, so it makes me wonder if I need any of this. Well, I need the stamina. I need more souls. Uh, pound for pound, souls pay the bills at the end, so... Fuck a stamina, nigga. I already got the shield, so... Okay, so let's, let's allot our Estus here. We gotta buy more bombs. Okay. Um. Ooh, lightning urns. Explodes inf inflicting lightning damage. And peep that right there. S rank faith. So basically, because I have more faith, um, you can see my faith there. It's on the side, my player status. It says 18. Because my faith is higher than normal, my lightning damage will be higher. I wonder if that scales to weapons too, because that would be the shit, nigga. Um, yeah, let's cop one of these. Actually, no one, no one does bleed to me in the map that we're in. We will actually have to cop some more of that later. So, 
Uh, how many do I have? Uh, let's just buy 20. And... Let's go. Do I have any more soul crunchies? No, I do not. Okay. Oh, fuck, I had an undead bone charge? Seriously, bro? Okay. You know, that's the beauty of this game. You know, it's really fun building your tune out. It's like, you know, you just you just watching your shit just bloom, you know? A leather whip. Mm. Um now I'm wondering if there's a way that I can build like an SM uh, an SNM bitch. As part of like uh, fashion souls, because that's a huge thing in this, in this, uh, in the community, fucking um, fashion souls, where basically the whole, um, the whole point of fashion souls is to just have armor that literally does nothing for you in terms of. Uh, you know, defense or anything like that. But because you're so good at the game, you don't need high defense because you're good at rolling, you know? Uh. Oh, okay. I'm tripping. I was like, what the fuck? Am I in the right place? So what we're doing is some extra credit right now. We're just going to unlock like the other um, bonfire. Okay, well, since I'm, uh, yeah, no. Nah. Since I took some fall damage, let's, let's heal up. Let's heal up. So what do you guys think about, you know, what? Well, that just fucking ruined my shit. Huh? That was pure luck, yo. Okay, so this is why Tears of Denial is the shit. He fucking... He would've killed me. Straight up. He would've fucking killed me. So, while we're healing, I wanted to ask you guys that question. What do you guys think about uh, game designers who put moving skies? You know, like clouds and the sky that is actually moving? I like that kind of shit, you know? I think it's great. I think it's a really good detail that's normally overlooked, which is kind of weird to me. But, you know. The fuck do I know about video game design, right? Oh shit, this nigga right here. Hold up. You know, I just love how he gets poise for free. Okay. Let's go kill fucking big poise guy here. Yep.
like once once the um once the enemy is running at you they're basically like the juggernaut you know an unstoppable force like it doesn't oh so th this is actually the entrance to where we're supposed to be going but we're not going to go there just yet I need more heals. Oh, okay, very French. Fucking crossbow, uh, crossbow and shit. What's really interesting is, you know, crossbow is French engineering, and it dominated the war front for the longest time until the the English uh, invented the uh, longbow and it was just far more efficient um, than you know reloading a uh, a crossbow where you know a giant longbow you can just put in an arrow bam loose boom loose you know what I'm saying so it was way more efficient and uh, the English was really beating the uh, France's ass with that shit and they um, the English did open um, enlistment where uh, France only nobility got to fight in the war you know which fucking made no goddamn sense to me oh god if I fell down if I fell down mmm Okay, that's fine. So... So homie right there, he's actually holding one of the most beautiful two-handed swords in the game, in my opinion. That's the uh, Cathedral Greatsword. Um, it's ba it's basically my go-to sword um, from levels one, <laughs> level one, um, from soul level fifty and higher. It's a it's a really powerful sword. It's got a great move set. You know, ooh, a blessed gem. It it has a overhead. It's it's two-handed stance has an overhead swing. And its charged attack is a thrust, which in my opinion makes it one of the most, uh, uh, how do I say this? It makes it one of the most um, tactically practical uh, weapons, two-handed weapons out there compared to other, other ones. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go there, because it's been a minute since I've been here. I was like, fuck, am I supposed to be going here? Yeah, I'm supposed to be going here. Okay, we Gucci. Okay, we, we, we have a lot of uh, Ash and Estes. We should be good. Okay. Game never fucking surprises me, yo. I'm like, where were these niggas? I did not see them. They were probably actually hiding up in the hiding up in the cuts, but you know. Who has time to pay attention to that shit, right? And there's actually a very interesting side quest here that you can do with a particularly annoying NPC. But, uh, you know, I'm not really trying to do that kind of shit right now. So, um, he's not available. K 
Okay. I literally fucking pushed the dodge button. <sighs> wow. Dark Souls 3, ladies and gentlemen. that is ooh so the item that I just received um damn it's it's looking like something just like bended those bars and they just walked on through so basically that item that I just got allows me to do PvP boom shakalaka here we are And you can see these are all cribs. Boom, and we just got the fucking bonfire. Let's go. Yeah, we might as well just join the Covenant. Why not? I like how she, like, looked at us. Oh, it looks like I got a fucking achievement for this. So all of those creatures that we killed earlier are her children. Because it's looking like she's... Heading it? Yeah, you can see her feet right there. Like that slug-like thing is just wrapped around her, seeking comfort and shit. So I've never actually done any of this, but you can actually rebuild your character if you talk to her. And you can fucking alter your appearance. I assume you would need um, pale tongues to do that kind of shit. And you know... In my opinion, that's a fucking colossal waste of fucking time. And here's why. Because those items that you need, uh, that's used as currency to exchange for services with her, needs to be obtained by killing real people. By real people, I mean PvP. And, uh, you know, the PvP community is still very live and vibrant and everything, but it's just like, I don't know, for some my view when it comes to Soulsborne games, it's like you make a new character, you have fun for a little bit, you spend some time with it, and then you move on and you make another one. Like, I still have my OG characters in save files in my Xbox 360 for Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and our multiple platforms that I have. I still have the OG ones that I've made, like the very first quote-unquote main character. But for the most part, I primarily just make new characters all the time and just start all over. I never actually fully committed to one, you know what I'm saying? What? So... It's like, unless if you're really feeling your character, it's like, eh, To me, that shit ain't worth. Alright, so we're just going to run past those fools, and we are going to unlock the front door. So that no matter where I fucking die in this goddamn map, I will have clean, easy access to the cathedral. And as you can see guys, we are here. We are back here in the front door. And there's actually a couple more shortcuts that we can unlock as well. So I figured why not? Why don't we just do it? 
contraption does not move. You know, technically, technically you can survive that with um, uh, with the um, Tears of Denial, which I just did right now. I just did that just so I can unlock it. And you know, I discovered I, I discovered this on accident. I fucking fell down and I was ready to fucking like get be be super pissed about it and then I realized that I fucking survived and I was like, "Oh. Okay." That's that two hander is so beautiful. Okay, I'm tripping. Where the fuck is the shortcut? Oh, I already unlocked it. Okay, hold on a second here. Yeah, I'm trying not to aggro um, big dog with the uh, cathedral great sword there in the background. If he aggroes, we're pretty much dead. Yeah, uh, doing the Tears of Denial exploit, where you just fall down, it, um, it, it, it basically allowed me to bypass all of this, and just go straight to the boss, which is really nice. Because beyond, beyond, uh, here, that giant altar is the boss, so. Let's actually head the fuck out of here. We're going to have to, um, hit up a fucking bonfire again, and head over to the boss. Take his ass out, you know what I'm saying? But first, we gotta make sure this trifling ass fool is not... Why is he not moving? Honestly, I'm surprised he actually took... He actually... Okay. I'm surprised he actually was stopped by the spell. Because usually, um, Mimazaki games, uh, enemies just have high amounts of poise, just because. Because, you know, it's fair. It's, it's, uh, it's fair game design, guys. You know. Because that kind of shit makes sense. Just fucking taking out my aggression on these fucking chairs. Okay, so Deacons of the Deep, um, this is actually going to be a melee boss, so honestly we should probably head back to Firelink, re-allot our Estus, and uh, just kill, just, just fucking kill him. And what's actually going to be really cool is we're going to get a new armor set. From the boss which is actually gonna be really nice it makes you look like some type of fucking archbishop or some shit it's pretty dope and then we're we're basically going to be um, leaving the leaving the we're actually we're actually going to be reaching the point where our magic 
will completely outpace our physical. So the days of using a sword are pretty much gonna be, are pretty much numbered at this point. Pretty soon we're just gonna be strictly fucking casting. Let me actually find out if uh, there are any higher level healing spells that we can we can buy from Homegirl. Medium heal, perfect. Let's go. Have a pleasant trip. Mm -mm. And let's actually upgrade our shit here. Reinforce, yes, yes. Do not pick up. Just to make our, you know, pyromancy stronger, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. Okay, uh, let's buy one of these. And let's buy 20 of these. This is just like an old an old habit that um that I uh picked up from Bloodborne. It's like if you have leftover souls, if you have leftover souls instead of just letting it hang out and with the possibility of your ass dying and losing it all, it's just spend it on shit you need like bombs, healing items, whatever the fuck you need, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're sitting, like, let's say, for example, to level up, it's going to be, you know, 8,500 souls, and you have 4,500. A lot can happen in the next 4,000 souls. You can either die and lose it all, or you can spend the remaining balance on things that you need that will help you level up, you know what I'm saying? So... It, uh, it, 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 it just depends on your risk management and how you play, you know what I'm saying? But me, your boy's all, always thinking about risk management. Okay. Deacons of the Deep. Let's go. So we can actually technically summon some help here I'm considering doing it but mm, I don't know the um, the summoned NPCs sort of act as a distraction in a way so it could be useful so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run past the Cathedral Knight and all the casting okay cool he's going and all the casting motherfuckers we're gonna we're gonna run past them and we're gonna do a quit out so we can reset their uh, enemy positions and i forgot to do my um tears of denial because uh bitch niggas simp niggas so that's gonna be awesome i'm already down by a bunch of fucking mana Okay. Can we do this, guys? Can we do this? Uh, I think we can. I'm feeling confident in life. I'm gonna do a test, though. I'm gonna run for it first, and then I'm gonna quit out. Okay, so we quit out and then we're going to reload back in. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, the Faram armor, pretty cool. Alright, hang on guys, I will be right back and then we'll come and then we'll beat fucking Deacon of the Deep's ass.
Sorry for the delay, guys. So it's looking like I'm still alive. You know, I thought my ass would be dead as fried chicken. So let's ember up. And we should have some summoning circles here. Who do we got here? Horus. And we got Anri. Of course, we're going to summon An Anri. It's funny because I'm so used to Anri being a uh, male. And because I always play females, female characters in Dark Souls. And when I make uh, melee builds using male tunes, it's a trip seeing Anri as a girl. And um, I don't. With. Uh, when I play my male characters, like, I feel like I don't want to you know, kill Anri because Anri has a really, really great sword that scales to luck. Um, I used to have to kill her when, um, when I used to speedrun this game, but, you know, those days are over, so let's do this. Deacons of the Deep, baby. So basically what we have to do is, um, basically you have to kill a character that's glowing like this guy um, the soul leaves the body and it enters another person okay it enters another character and you gotta kill him and you know what I just realized that I did not even do um, I did not even do uh, salty tears of denial Okay, where is he? Okay, well, he's over there. Oh, here we go. The big cheese is over here now. You gotta give yourself time to roll out our stamina. Okay. Okay. Okay, I thought I fucking rolled. Game. He should be dead here pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Deacons of the Deep and Small Doll. So basically, the Small Doll is a key that will take us to the upper level or the, the, the higher tier of the game. Deacons of the Deep. De Deacons of the Deep can be annoying because of the way the fight is, but God, look at this. This reminds me of St. Peter's fucking grave. Like, look at all those, like, deacon archbishop niggas up there, and look at all these freaky-ass chains that are just hanging from the ceiling, and th this... This this uh, design is very reminiscent of Roman architecture, which is fucking ballin' as fuck. And here we go. Archdeacon white crown, Archdeacon holy garb, and Archdeacon skirt. You know, we gotta upgrade, baby. I'm about to put this shit on, son. Let's do it. Look at that shit. Check me out. My character looks nuts. I mean, the hat is cool. But it's a little too pious for my taste, so let's uh, let's just let, let's just uh, equip our traditional.
pyromancer garb here. Man, look at the look at the work in designing this. Like, what is this? Like, these hooded guys are like caged. Like, what what, what exactly does that represent? You know. Like, what does that represent in the world of Dark Souls? Because clearly there is a religion, you know? So, there's many of them. Okay, so Deacons of the Deep is now complete. So now what we have to do is we will have to head through the Crucifixion Woods and make our way through Fair and Keep, which is the most garbo fucking part of the game but before we do that let's uh let's finish up cathedral of the deep here because there's a lot of items that we didn't pick up and guys that we didn't kill like like that gi like that giant for example so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go around here. Dude, my fucking character looks sick with this shit on. Okay, so that nigga sees us. Let's just go out of line of sight. Just to pull their aggro. This is fucking... My character looks so sick. It's like, come on guys, I'm one of you. What's going on here? Okay. So I don't want to activate the uh, giant just yet. I want to try and aggro. these slimes here because they are very annoying okay they are very annoying when you're trying to fight the fight the giant so we'll just fucking get rid of them as much as we can so there aren't there aren't many you know Slimes trying to fucking kill us while we're trying to kill that giant. Because the annoying part about it is the. where you have to fight him, you cannot completely roll. You have like the really slow roll, which the next area that we're going to go to. The entire swamp is like that, so it's really not fun. Do I have any fire paper left? Let's see. Oh, I do. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, 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 I got greedy. Really? The fucking fire paper is gone already? God, the fucking maggot guys in the mix too. Really? He trying to he he out here trying to fuck too? Come on. Yo, I thought he was dead, man. Okay, I'm dead. You see what I'm talking about, Craig? You see these slimes all up in the mix? 
They're just fucking my shit up, man. I, I, dude, I did not even um, attune the new healing spell I, I just bought. So you know, if I if I would have died, if I would have died from that nigga, I have no one else but myself to blame. Straight up. You know, I can only blame myself. Be oh, Drang armor. It's basically the fucking Jon Snow armor. I don't know if you if you guys watch. Uh, or watch Game of Thrones. This is fucking Jon Snow right here, straight up. Uh, one of my top favorite characters in the game, in the fuck, in the game, in the show. All right, so I think we pretty much completed everything within. Deacons of the Deep without, you know, at least all of the important things. Here, let's see. We, we can actually... We can actually... Oh, wait. You know what? I'm tripping. We still have a lot of places to go. There's actually a lower level here with a Mimic. So, let's actually do that. Huh? What is this, this fucking delayed input, man? Okay. Of course you're gonna fucking back up. You know what? Once these motherfuckers get started, man, it is it is hard for them to stop. Okay. I need that higher healing spell. Fucking games like World of Warcraft made me fucking lazy. I'm just like, why isn't why isn't that spell fucking uh, equipped automatic automatically for me? Okay, do I even have enough HP to fight these guys? Because there's going to be a giant fucking knight here. Especially with these fuckers wilding out on me. I don't know if I can. I was about to say, like, really? Did that mimic... Or I mean mimic the um the fucking cathedral knight. Actually he's not he's not a cathedral knight, he's like a cathedral guardsman or some bullshit like that. Um he's uh he has a shield and he has a fuck ton of poise. So Oh shit, I'm out of fire paper. Fuck. Do I have anything here? Poison? Really? Fuck it. Okay, so let's fight this dude. Okay, we're not gonna do two-handed because it's trash for a one-hander. Literally the same damage. He 
You know, I should probably equip that ring that will shorten spell casting time. Because I feel this is super fucking slow. We traded. Bullshit. Deep Braille Divine Tome. Okay. So there's actually a very scary uh, monster coming up. And I don't think we have enough healing items to fight this dude right here. See, he's looking at me. He heals too, by the way. Oh, okay, so he can actually come up here. Yeah, well, fuck him. If I had more um, Ash and Estes, I, I would try to fight him. Yeah, this is a this is a no win type situation here. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, since we uh since we killed the giant, we don't have to worry about you know uh looting these items really quickly because you're trying not to get crushed and not in a good way that Lloyd's ring though is actually pretty interesting it uh, it increases your damage when your HP is full so it's pretty nice if you look at it that way Okay, I do have enough um, Estes to fight these guys, so. Let's go take her out. Seek guidance. Swear to God, I'm hearing like a crystal lizard, man. Yeah, fighting this bitch in like really tight quarters, not fun. Okay, okay, can you catch up please? Fucking input. It's like, I pushed those inputs like four inputs ago and they're finally coming through. You know, as much as I complain about the, uh, the input lag in this game, it's like, it is far better than most, honestly, so. Let's see, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, there's an item there. We can go grab that, I guess. Oh, I wish I had Spook equipped. I'd be able to jump down there without taking any fall damage.
Am I near any bonfires? Because I really do want to go back there and kill that fucking knight. We might actually have to go back. I wish you could allot your Estus from any bonfire. It's kind of annoying how um, you have to do it in the shrine bonfire. Okay. Um, what else? Fire clutch ring, boost pyromancies, serpent ring. Yeah, I need as much souls as possible. But I also need life. See, I'm com contemplating if I want to get rid of the boost in EXP for more life. Let's see how much more it gives me. Okay, so I actually broke a thousand, which is pretty nice. I wonder what would happen if I did this. I have the shield, and I just use pyros. Oh, but I need a fucking... Oh, no, that, that could actually work, because I can just switch. And I can just switch to my staff. Yeah, we might actually do this. Pyro on the right hand, shield on the left. And the reason why I want to do this is because you got rid of the stamina ring for the life ring. So I want to be able to recover my stamina fast. All right, let's go to Firelink Shrine and level up. Consoles are going to be great with the instant loading. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's see. We got a bunch of soul crunchies here. Crystal Sage. I don't want to consume any of these souls until I figure out like what prize I get from cashing them in. So, Okay, so what we need to do here is endurance and attunement. Okay, so let's attune our spells here. Medium heal, perfect. Let's see how much that actually takes terms of mana. Okay, not bad, not bad. Did I get any more ashes? I can't remember. Let's see. No, I didn't. Okay, has she got she got anything new? No, she doesn't. Okay. Do I have anything else to upgrade? No, I don't. Okay. Or wait a minute, let's go talk to the uh, sorcery NPC and see what kind of hot shit he's got for us. Simp ass nigga right here. Oh, he has spook. Okay, cool. Great soul arrow. Great heavy soul arrow. Magic shield. Distract foes with a distant sound. I've never actually used that. Okay. Let's 
Let's go buy some shit. Uh, fuck it. Oh man, fucking not looking forward to where we're going next. Crucifixion Woods. <sighs> Shit. Alright, so I think I'm going to cut the stream here. Thank you guys so much for kicking it with me through this salty fucking stream of Dark Souls 3. Um, in the next stream, I think what I want to do is finish up Crucifixion Woods um, and head over to Farron Keep. Oh my god, that place is going to be so triggering, but you know what? As long as you guys are here with me, it's going to be all good. So uh, stay safe out there, and uh, one love.